today I'll be showing how to set up your phone using the focus mode and the shortcuts app on your iPhone. Hi guys, it's Hyun here. Thanks for clicking on this video. This is my iPhone 12 mini in white color and I've been using it for over two years. As you can see, the phone setup is plain with generic icons. I will be using one of my designs to make my phone cuter. You can find the icon set in my shop by clicking on this channel's banner. Once you've purchased the icon set, you will have to go to files and save all icons and widgets to your photo gallery. These are all the components of the icon set and the instruction sheet will also be included. There are six lock screens and wallpapers, which can be used both on your iPhone and the iPad. The whole icon set is compatible for both iPhone and Android. To download the files to your photos, tap on the three dots on the upper right corner and tap select. Then tap select all. You will find the square button with the arrow facing up on the lower left corner. Press on it and then tap Save Images. Now repeat the process for each folder. Once you saved all images, you can now open your gallery to make sure all icons are saved. Use a finger to drag down on the screen and search for the Shortcuts app. Once you're in the Shortcuts app, tap on the plus sign on the upper right corner and then press Add Action. Search for Open App and then tap Open App button. Right next to the word Open, there is a faint app written on it. Press on App. Now search for the app you want to create an icon for. Press on the down facing arrow on the top and then press add to home screen. Press on the image on the left side and then select choose photo. Write the app name next to the image and press add on the upper right corner. Now you will see the added shortcut on the home screen. Go back to the shortcuts app and press done to finalize the first icon. Congratulations, you've just made a shortcut for an app. You will have to repeat this process for all the apps you want to add to the home screen. I am finally done with adding all the icons I need. As you can see, all the original icons are left alone in the previous pages. I will not touch it. I will show you why later. I wanted to add some widgets, so I downloaded Widget Smith. Open the Widget Smith app and add a few small widgets to it. I added four for now, but you can add as many as you want. To add the widgets, simply hold down on an empty space for a few seconds to get a plus sign on the left corner. Scroll down until you find Widget Smith and press on it. 
add the type of widget you would like. I wanted to add another widget on the second screen, so I did the same thing again. To change the image of the widget, press on the widget and change the image number. I utilize simple hearts on the bottom of the screen because when you utilize focus modes, this section does not change. Only the top icon pages will change. Press on settings, then press focus. Tap the plus sign on the upper right corner, then tap custom. You can get creative and make your own color and name of the icon set. Tap next, then tap customize focus. This is where we choose the wallpaper and icon pages. Tap choose for lock screen. Make sure you saved images from the files app. Once you press choose on the lock screen, create a new lock screen by tapping gallery, then photos. Choose the wallpaper you would like to use, then crop it and position it to your liking. You can also change the clock font and widgets on the lock screen. Press add once you're satisfied, then press customize home screen to designate a different wallpaper for the home screen. Press on choose on the home screen, which will allow us to select the pages of icons we want to pair with this focus mode. Select all the pages of icons we made the shortcuts for. Press done when you're finished. I'm not changing anything else, so I will exit from this page. Let's test out the focus mode. Drag your finger from the upper right corner and then press on focus. You will see the focus mode you just made. Tap on it. And voila! Now you have your own focus mode with the icon set that you made shortcuts for. If you create more focus modes with different icon sets, you can now easily change from one icon set to another. Now, I will tell you why I left the original icons. As you can see, the original icons have the status on the right corner. The shortcuts, however, do not have this status, so often I may miss a mail, a text, or even a phone call. So, I like to sometimes turn off the focus mode so I can check if I missed anything. One last thing to note is that a shortcut will have this annoying notification bar that pops up when you open an app. I got used to it, but there are ways to get rid of it. It requires series of steps and I was too lazy to do them. You can find the ways in other creators if you like. Thanks so much for watching this long video and I hope this really helped you to create focus modes to create icon sets. See you in the next video. Bye bye!